Now, uh, hello, welcome back to CMG Aura Space FX Weekly Market Forecast. This is week um twenty, week twenty. So um, as you all know, if you are new here, this is um a market forecast that we do every week to give you um an idea of how the market um is probably or potentially uh going to move right so we give you their forecast and then in the course of the week we do um, a follow-up like live updates in our telegram uh, page or other social media platforms so if you are here please like subscribe and share right so like we do always we do uh, analysis on dxy that's the american dollar and then do that on Japanese yen, the JPY, and then sometimes on gold. So that's what we do every week. Like the normal or the norm, we do um, a recap and then we zoom into the, the pending week, how the market is going to move. So uh, last week, that's week 20, sorry, week 19, um, our prediction or our hope was that uh, market, in fact, that this week 19, week 19 started from here. We saw, um, in fact, let me clean, clean this and out. I, I was actually doing the, uh, the, the pending week, the analysis, right? So that was what I was doing. And then uh, before I started the coming on live, uh, coming, yes, we started rec the, the recording. So I have to take this one off, then I'll bring it back later. So with the recap, Market started from here with 19. Market started from here, and then we saw or we experienced some um, uh, a, bull, uh, a bullish, um, in fact, Tuesday's bottom, right? Tuesday's bottom. This is the Tuesday's bottom. And then um, we, we anticipated that the market was going to what? In fact, we are uh, experiencing the what? The prices are the what? This slanted um, bullish what? Uh, trend, right? And then we had a support level here. Right, we're here. So we're here at that moment. That's with 19. That's how mar the market began. So we're here, and then we we're hoping the market would rally up and hit at least this level, or maybe even in fact at this level. Right. Uh, let me let me try and put you some some. Uh, so we're hoping at least price could get here. Right. This this is the line, the price level. Because prior, uh, market began from here and we're seeing a Tuesday's bottom. Tuesday's bottom is one of the candlestick patterns that you cannot do away with. It gives you the idea that market has a higher tendency of what? Buying or going up. If you don't know your candlestick chart patterns or uh, your, in fact, your chart patterns or candlestick patterns, you should check in the intermediate playlist. And then from there, you understand it better. Or if you want to have everything in a snapshot, then check the, um, in fact, the intermediate playlist. You see um, a video on what? Kind uh, of and the chart patterns. It's what very brief and co 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 concise. That is it. So back to our recap, right? So you're expecting the market to go up and hit at least this level, right? So let's, let me put it out. Expecting the match, market should get there. But market actually moved like we were hoped, and then go to this. Uh, I'll call it the first resistance level. Like I told you, my horizontal lines are both resistance and support levels. It's based on where price is coming from and then where price has gotten to. So, with respect to that, you will know that if it is a, a resistance or a support. So, if you were here, that means that this was actually what a resistance level. And whenever I price or get to these blue lines, as I've told you, in my analysis so far, beginning of the year, you know that whenever price gets to resistance level or support level, whether they are the main support level or resistance level, at least there is what uh, there are some kind of reactions there. So that is what actually happened. So price began from here and then zoomed up to this level. So it means that those who started um, um, selling. Uh, either EU or GU were actually profitable to this level. And it was actually a resistance level. So on your EU and GU, you will know how price will be reacting on those uh, price charts. 
of course you know so if you are not a, a swinger like as if you're not a swinger then that means you may have gotten to your your tp and then you were profitable to this level those who were not uh swingers in fact who are swingers as you say like myself go to this level and price got back right price go back to this level so price getting back to this level was was not good for me at all right so that's what happened and then it reverts to this level so when you go to this level still hoping that market uh, here will, uh, will, 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 will act as a um, uh, let's see, a, a, a supply zone yes, no a demand zone rather so i was still hoping that market got here and then we go up it didn't happen that way and then um this is what we are actually um seeing here right so we got here and then got down got down in fact violated this uh resistance level and then go to a third or let's say a new support level and then now it has respected it and then we are going back this way so this is uh, this is how market moved so i know some of the traders will be profitable some will not be profitable so for myself on dxy i was not profitable for the recent week i was not profitable but i, I was profitable on other pace right so this is what happened um last week that is it so continuing with um our next week um analysis right on dxy i'm going to bring back those levels so we have started already in fact we have actually begun the analysis for uh the pending week so let me bring them back Right, so that is it. So bringing them back, even though price was going up, up and uh, up, generally moving up with respect to this blue slanted um, channel, it was actually with a bullish trend. So now we've got getting here, price has broken below it and it didn't bounce back. So I told you, anytime you are in the market, right, you shouldn't be too biased. Right. Sometimes we have our own predictions. We watch the market. We do analysis, and then sometimes we are too biased. Even though there's a term bias, whatever analysis that every trader does is it's a bias. It's a prediction. It's a forecast. It's anticipation. There's no two ways about that. But sometimes when you are too biased, it means that when the market is not even moving. Let's say for my, for instance, myself, you do I do analysis and I tell you that. We are, you should be expecting um, a general bullish market for that pending week. And then because of the analysis that I've done already, right? And then I don't want to seem like uh, the market is going against me. I'm still hoping and I'm still um, guessing, I'm still holding tight onto that, even though the, that uh, analysis has, uh, that uh, character or that environment has changed. I will still be hoping and then still be keen forcing the market that the market should go there, that way. No, you shouldn't do that. You, because you are not a market player, right? You are just a retailer, a retail, a retail trader. So a, a retail trader, you don't have power over the market. You only follow what the market is doing, right? So you follow what the market is doing and then try to benefit from it. So if you have a for a, a, a for knowledge or maybe um, a first uh, 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 perspective, first one, initial perspective, then it's not going, it's not going well. You have to look at the market again, have another perspective, another angle, and then look at it. Many of them, that's what a good trader should do. You don't you, you just stick to one, one forecast, one prediction, one anticipation, one perspective, still forcing it. You can't force the market. Huh. So that is what you do. So in the course of this, sometimes I'll do the analysis. Um, latest by the third day, last Wednesday, then that setup has, would have already played out, meaning it was profitable. Then Latest by Thursday, normally, normally happens. There are some fundamentals that happen on Thursday. And yes, and then the news can sometimes misbehave. Many a time, news on Thursday cannot be trusted. It can move up and then switch all of a sudden. So on Thursdays, 
as I many a time expect a different character, a different uh, environment altogether, right? So latest by Wednesday, many a time that's your focus, initial focus has played out, you have been profitable. Then you have to look at it again and then be, care be careful protect yourself from this fundamental. So that is it. So doing analysis again, like I told you, I was doing that before coming to do the live, do, do this video recording, I should say. So I realized that this is, what, this is what is happening even within the uptrend, right? There's also another downtrend which is forming. There's a change of character, right? Yes, things happening, things changing. So you have to be open-minded. So looking at it, this is what I saw. So look at this, look at this. So it means from week 18, this is what happened. Market started changing, changing uh, structure. That is it, you see, a character or all that. So this is what is happening, you see. That's where general downtrend forming at the end of what? The uptrend. And that is what is happening, you see. So if you have realized this earlier and then told you, you would have been profitable. And then sorry about uh, of late, I'm not, that much um, active on the on the on the on the platforms. Yeah, I've I've been I've been quite busy. I have some um, family issues that I'm dealing with. So sometimes I do the forecast, and then coming up to do that is difficult. I think um, latest by next month, um, I'll, I'll I'll be okay. But then it doesn't mean I will not be sending signals or uh, be updating. Just that I I'll. Yes, the activeness will, will, will be quite um, reduced, but I, I'm still here for you. So that is it. So this is what is happening. You see what is happening here, right? So that is it. So generally we are moving. Now, when you look at it, there's a downtrend or a channel once again, see what is happening. So here price is going up. Now prices are the what? The moving average. Now, my prediction here is that price might get to this level, right? And then something of this sort, right here. And then um, either move it this way, right? Come here, right? And then we we'll move this way. That is one side, one perspective. Or price will get here and then get to this level. So my advice now, like I do always, is that if you're already um, selling EU and GU, please be in the trade. Don't exit, don't panic, don't pull out. Wait for price to get to some level and then you decide later. So you have to, this will be what decisive on the EU and GU setup, what, whatever, whatever the price action is. So you have to be watching out for this. I won't waste much time here. Let's watch on the, the daily time frame. Let's see something. The daily time frame too, yeah. You see, in generally, it's what bearish. But even though it's a bearish, we are at a support level. And at a support level, there's one kind of candlestick pattern forming. Let me zoom out for you to see, right? One candlestick pattern forming. So let me just clean out again. I'm cleaning out because you're on a different time frame now. See what is happening here? Um, if you look at the, at the last two candlesticks, the, yeah, the last one, but two candlestick patterns, like there's this one here and this one here. So looking at this channel, this look like a, um, um, a, a bullish harami. Yes, this is a, bu a bullish harami. A bullish harami says that when they appear at the, or the bottom, price has a, a higher tendency of what? Moving up, buying. But then if you look at, the last but one candle here, look at this. What is forming here is actually um, a gravestone. A gravestone candlestick. <laughs> if you don't know your candlestick patterns, please watch the video in the intermediate uh, what, uh, playlist. You understand it perfectly. So what is forming here is a gravestone. A gravestone means that price will, will, what, will be selling. It based on where the price, uh, the candlestick is forming. But what is forming, where it's forming now, is not at the bottom yet. It's not also at the what, the, the resistance level. It's just happening in between. So anything is bound to happen, right? So that is it. So it means that we are still at the what, the support level. So price 
In fact, the every new week has any uh, tendency of what behaving or doing anything, especially when Sunday's um, entering Monday. Anything is possible. Anything can happen there before the market actually picks um, a correct direction to move. So be patient. If you want to exit, it depends on you. Yes. The moment you are in a trade and you don't feel comfortable, exit and look for another entry. It's your account. It's your money. It's your funds. So that is it. So that's what we see here. Let's move to the weekly time frame. Let's see what is happening. Weekly time frame. Ha. Huh. They are still bullish. Oh. Very, very bullish. Right? But bear in mind, anything is still possible. Anything is still possible. Another candlestick kind of could form here. In fact, this week and the beginning of the week, actually, it can form a bullish year. That will be what? Um, uh, Tuesday's bottom, right? Tuesday's bottom, because here we are on just around that uh, first value gap on top of it. In fact, within that. So anything is bound to happen. We can still continue because the candlestick kind of forming here is actually strongly bearish. So it could move down, it could move up. So my advice or my forecast for this week, I'm not going to do anything uh, too complicated, complex. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing, right? I'm not a magician. So it's bearish. So we can actually continue being bearish because price hit this top level. We did that this analysis some few months ago. Right, and we had we, we got there, and price is, is reversing, so we can actually continue even down, 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 down. So it's a, just a matter of watching the market and then decide what to do. So we realize that I am not being uh straightforward here whether the market is going to buy or is going to sell indecisions happening here and there. So that is it. Now, let's move to uh. JPY. Let's move to JPY. Let's move to JPY. JPY. You don't worry. Let's move to JPY. I don't want to be standing here. We are done with the J, uh, DX, um, DXY. Great. Now, um, the same thing, similar thing happened here for JPY. So JPY2. I think that was what actually happened. JPY were below, that was, yeah, week 20, right? So we were, oh, so actually the recent week was week 20, right? So that is, it. I think that's the correction. The recent week was week 20. So this analysis is actually week 21. So bear that in mind for correction. So we were around here and then we were, price was just below the moving average. So I just said, or I advise that those riding, right? Those riding JPY um, buys should what? Enjoy until I see that price has gotten to this, what? Um, uh, the assumed uh, demand what? Zone, right? So that was what happened. I even gave some live updates. I sent this uh, picture this setup into the Telegram page. If you are not there, please check in this video description. There's a, there's a, there's a link there, click and then join for live updates. So price actually moved to this level, right? Got and tapped into what? The supply was, uh, demand zone, sorry, the demand zone, and then did as we said. But then we were expecting that price will actually move back up strongly to this um, uh, supply level, yes, or that resistance level. But price move again, once again, there was what? A resistance, what? Uh, level here. So there was a reaction and then the, it's maintained its, what? Reaction. And then market pulled back into the, what? The demand zone again. Now, I can be more confident here and tell you that price may go down a bit, maybe even almost to the bottom of this line, right? And then move up. So with the 
the continued analysis let me do it this way here and then we are going to move this way right we are going to move this way we are going to move this way sorry 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 oh let me clean out um So here it has gotten back. I want try as soon as price will get this this way, right? And then we move. Note this. Note this. So that this will be with 21. So that's what is going to happen. Now, if you have watched, you have you have what watch, lens um kind of stick, um chat patterns or even chat, not kind of stick actually, but chat patterns, there's something called uh double bottom right there's there's a pattern called double bottom and that is what is we are, is, is happening here so we just hope that this top double bottom would be what respected right would be what respected because we have tested here gone up and then coming back to retest for a retest normally for a retest we have strong confluence retest actually that's well in this financial market. That is it. So look at what is happening. Even if I should go back, see, from here, go back, go there. Looks like a consolidating market. Now, taking only this portion, right, from here, got in here, right, into this uh, zone, went up, respected at that uh, resistance level, tap, tapping back. Now, let's see what is going to happen. So this is the forecast. I won't waste much time here. For gold, uh, gold was buying, uh, in fact, uh, was buying last week, the whole of last week. And let's see what is going to happen. If you are going to continue with a buy or sell. DXY is, and gold are trying to be independent uh, for some weeks now. So, we just have to wait. If I put a signal there, then you can enter. If I don't put it and you still want to enter, it depends on you. So I won't talk much. I won't talk much here in this analysis. So thank you very much for watching. I wish you a happy trading week. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much. Um, once again, we will say bye for now.